I usually like bigger ice cubes, <laughs> but <laughs> my ice maker's That's on nice. the fritz, the little slurpy looking ice, that works too. It, it, it keeps it all cold. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Hey guys, today I'm here with my partner Eric Buccio from uh, Casa Mexico Tequila. You may not know, but um, we have a tequila company and it's really, really good. Today we're gonna tell you what to look for in a good tequila and three recipes that'll be a hit at any party. Tequila people, a lot of people think it's it's just like that spring break kind of, you know, you throw shots and stuff. It's become a very sophisticated drink and, and you can sip it now and there's hundreds if not thousands of different tequilas out there. Thousands of tequilas. Yes, and this one I fell in love with. It was like love at first sight. Uh, we came, became business partners along with uh, Oscar De La Hoya and we're all behind it and all in and it's really, really good. And I think the key to finding a good tequila is it being 100% uh, agave. Blue agave. And believe it or not, it has health benefits and it won't give you a hangover. That was our number one concern from the get go. All right, we're gonna start off with a classic that everyone loves, the margarita. Universal. But our version is the margarita, hey. So let's uh, let's get going right now. What do we got let's first? So go ahead and uh, give me some ice. Okay. Uh, this is uh, our margarita. It's with the silver tequila. It's a perfect ingredient when it comes to you drinking a real true a real true margarita. It has to happen with the uh, silver tequila. It's not aged. Right. So it goes directly from uh, the filtration, from distillation to the bottle. Okay. And that's the right way of you drinking a, a true margarita. Yes. So you've got a two ounce of uh, Casa Mexico silver. Two ounce. Okay. You got the lime juice, which has to be fresh. Yes. Because if not, you have a very weird taste to the margarita. How much? So you go with a one and a half. One and a half one ounce and a half of lime ounce. juice. The number one thing behind the margarita is a triple sec. How much triple, triple sec? sec? You go with, with about a, one, about a one and a half ounce. Okay. Of it. Tell yeah. everybody what triple sec uh, is. Triple sec is basically the liquor part of the tequila. So what this does, it adds a, a splash of orange, orange liqueur, if you will, and that's what gives it the overall margarita taste. So go ahead and shake the sucker. Quick too. Some people, by the way. Like my wife likes a frozen margarita. Obviously, you just get a blender, add a little more ice, whip it up, and there you go. Make sure there's no poison in here. Salud. Mmm. That's solid. The margarita. Easy to make, tastes delicious. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Summertime, this is it. Kicks off the party, refreshing. Drink number two, the Blue Diamond. What do we got, Bucho? Remember that? Yes, I remember it. It was well. a total hit. Big hit at the Lopez wedding. Everyone ended Most up uh, in the pool after uh, all these blue diamonds. We'll never forget that. All right, so first we get ice. Yes. Of course. That's my, I'm like the sous chef right here with all the ice. These are like the, the basic go-to. Uh, we're starting off easy with tequila drinks. There are literally dozens of, of delicious drinks. This is simple. That's another episode. All right. <laughs> so we got a uh, uh, Blue Diamond. We typically can do it with the uh, Silver or Blanco, but we're going to choose to do it with Reposado just to give it a little bit of a nicer taste. Yeah, and explain the difference between uh, Silver and Reposado. Silver and Reposado, basically you got the Silver. The Silver is not aged at all. The Reposado is aged for one year in American oak barrels. That's the only difference you're going to feel with the uh, Blanco or the Reposado. So now we're there gonna we choose go. to have a little bit more of that wood taste. Yes. So we got two ounces of this. There you go. All right. So now you got the nice blue color yeah, curacao. curacao. You're gonna go two ounces of this. And you can definitely get a low calorie uh, curacao. It's the best way to go. Cool. So and then we got, you can never be on with the uh, little bit of lime. This I is a- uh, lime juice. A little bit of- uh, How much? Lime juice is one ounce. One ounce. And last but not least, triple sec. That goes in the majority of uh, mixed drinks in the world. Good actually you know. carry a triple sec. And this is a 1.5, which is an ounce and a half. Here we are. Ounce. There we go. Now we got the best part. Get Simple. in there. All right. You ready? I'm around the giddy pig today. You gonna remember this? Yes. Okay. It's a, it's, look, it's a pretty drink too. Look at it that. It's a total hit. I will never it's forget that. It's a total that. hit. It's delicious too. Salud. I'm the only one drinking here. Why are you not joining me? Mmm. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Nice. Simple. Especially when you're having like an outdoor party, it looks good. You can garnish it with some, uh, uh, throw a flower in there, yeah. or uh, 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 limes of course, but yes, the blue diamond. Once again, very refreshing. Yes, very refreshing. And for our third drink, we have the traditional paloma. Explain what a paloma is. A paloma is traditional to uh, Guadalajara, Jalisco, where tequila 
had the majority of tequilas come in a roll. Mm -hmm. And today we're gonna actually mix it with, uh, typically I like it with a reposado, but we're gonna go with the silver, just because it has a different taste to it. It has that te true tequila taste behind a paloma. So the paloma, the easiest one to make okay. and the most traditional in the tequila world. So paloma is universal. Not a lot of people know about it because the margarita sort of took over. Right. But this is a true Mexican mixed drink. Delicious too. Delicious. So grapefruit juice, basically like you were gonna drink some sort of soda. Right. So there's no real true, oh I want two ounces, three ounces, or one cup. The way I look at it is when you're gonna have this, you dump. The majority is gonna be tequila, the rest of it. So you basically you, you So about sixty percent grapefruit 60%. juice if you don't want to get crazy. So typically we go with two ounces, but because this is very light and our product is a smooth and subtle, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and do three. Let's do three. I'm all three. about that. I like to err on the aggressive side. There we go. Last but not least, uh, lime juice. Lime juice, it's of just course. A, it's just a little, it's eh, a once again, it's, it's just about right there. Yeah, just a little, little splash. Oh, you need. And grapefruit juice, and I'm not even a fan of grapefruit juice, but it's for some reason amazing with tequila. You can also mix it up with squirt. Correct. <laughs> squirt squirt. The, the soda, believe it or not, if you can't find uh, grapefruit juice. But this should be right up there with a the margarita. Not a lot of people uh, use it, but I'm telling you, it'd be a big hit at the party. Salud. Mm. That's good. That's Very good. good. I'm telling you what, if you have a party and there's people with the tray walking around with the blue diamond, the margarita, or the paloma, you know you're gonna have a good time. And that's just the tip of the iceberg with uh, drinks that have tequila. My personal favorite way to drink tequila is straight up neat. That means no nothing. <laughs> Just tequila. This is your glass. I know you like a little bit more of a feminine glass, so. Thank you. <laughs> Giving you, you that one right here. That? So the difference in our tequilas is silver, reposado, añejo. Silver is not aged. Uh, reposado is aged one year, and añejo is the most aged. And basically what you're gonna find in our añejo, smooth and subtle, basically the closest thing you're gonna get to is a cognac or a whiskey. So mm. that's exactly what that does, and that's why it's meant to be sipped, not mixed, because this is the only way you're actually gonna taste the wood, cinnamon, the spiciness, of Añejo because it's been sitting there for such a long time. Yeah, it's so become a very, yes, it's become a very sophisticated drink. And um, I enjoy just uh, sipping and, and hanging out, whether I'm, I'm at home here or, or when I go out to dinner, I'll order just straight out uh, Añejo tequila and really compliments your food, oh, helps with the digestion oh, and man, gets so right to the spot too. Smell that. <laughs> you know. See that? The Salud. That. About time you join Salud. me. There we go. And again, a sipper. Mm. Well, that's nice, that's nice. All right, so those are our three go-to tequila recipes. We've got a lot more, a lot, lot more, more, but please let more. us know your thoughts and, and comments. And uh, if you want more info on Casa Mexico Tequila, just hit up cmtequila.com. And salute, have a great day, everyone.